going on guys in this video we are going to talk about open loop gain and closed loop gain and in this particular problem we are going to see how to calculate this v out voltage when we have open loop gain and closed loop gain okay now let's look at open loop gain first to calculate open loop gain what we do is this is the equation v o for open loop gain we are doing the a part v o is equal to a that is open loop gain times the voltage input in our case the voltage source is going to be the voltage input because that's that's the one connected to here right so this is our input voltage and that is equal to two voltage so we can say this is a times vi and that is equivalent to two times open loop gain is given that is two times 10 to the power of five and the, let's let's analyze these terms ri this is input resistant that is the resistant in between this inverting terminal and non-inverting terminal and output voltage output resistant is the resistant right here okay and the voltage source is given that is 2 voltage and this is open loop gain that is a a is 2 times 10 to the power of 5 so this is 2 times 10 to the power of 5 and our input voltage is 2 voltage and this voltage is going to be same across here because you can see the given input resistance is 2 mega ohm so that's the resistant in non resistant between non inverting and inverting terminal compared to this voltage i mean compared to this uh, 10 kilo, kilo ohm resistant this resistant is very high right so all the voltage so there's no comparatively there's no voltage drop right here there's no voltage up across 10 kilo ohm so this is approximately 2 volt and uh, all the voltage drop are going to happen in the between non-inverting and inverting terminal so this is going to be 2 voltage so we can say our input voltage also 2 voltage right so this is 2 voltage and if you calculate this one that's going to be 4 times 10 to the power of 5 and 4 times 10 to the power of 5 is basically 400,000 so this is very huge number right so this is not going to be the case because if we, if we have large number we are going to have the voltage output that's going to be equal to VCC whatever the voltage output by the voltage supply so this is the first one that is the voltage output when we have open loop gain and the second thing is we are going to see what's going to be the voltage output when we have closed loop gain and also the resistance feedback resistance is given 20 kilo ohm so we are going to have feedback resistance right here that is 20 kilo ohm okay and when we have non-inverting amplifier because this is non-inverting because the voltage input is connected to the negative terminal negative actually this is inverting right negative terminal is inverting and positive terminal is non-inverting so this is inverting amplifier since this is an inverting amplifier we can use this equation to find out the voltage output voltage output is going to be equal to minus feedback resistance divided by the input resistance time the voltage source okay so we have negative rf is given that is 20 kilo ohm divided by the input resistance that is 2 mega ohm 2 oh, the resistance in our case hmm, i'm confused with this one this is not the resistance we have to put this this is our input resistance 10 kilo ohm okay this one is the resistance in between this positive negative this non inverting and inverting terminal so we have to put this 10 let's avoid this one let's call this one r1 okay let's call this one r1 rf over r1 times vs that's going to be the resistance right here so that's going to be 10 kilo ohm times the voltage source that is given 2 voltage and we are going to get negative 4 voltage and that's going to be the voltage output when we have closed loop gain and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching